Yes. Name, please. Karen Walker. I'm Stanley Walker's wife. Excuse me? I'm his bitch, okay? <laughs> Is that what you want to hear? I'm Stanley Walker's bitch. <laughs> and I'm his one and only, just in case you pervs get any ideas during those lonely nights in lockdown. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma I just couldn't hear what you said. Karen Walker? <laughs> oh my god, I have that same gun. <laughs> Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to have a breath mint, would you? Actually, I do. It's in my purse. Well, pop it! It's not doing you any good in there! <laughs> How offensive. But it's your breath, not mine. <laughs> Forgive her. She has a heart condition. She doesn't have one. <laughs> you mean tonight isn't Thanksgiving? <laughs> oh, crap. I have to spend all day tomorrow watching Stan gorge himself on thighs and breasts and turkey. <laughs> well, if we have to wait, um, why don't I get a bottle of champagne? That's a nice idea. What would you guys like? <laughs> Bigger. Oh, tears, booze. I love the holidays too. <laughs> okay, let's do me now. Okay, what do you like? Oh, I don't know, honey. I mean, I'm almost 200 years old. <laughs> you know, I just don't have time for all of this getting to know you crap. I just want somebody who gets me, somebody who's comfortable in my world and makes me laugh and occasionally brings me flowers. And Somebody who likes kittens and the hardcore bondage scene. <laughs> I like you. Wanna make out? I like you too. Let's see how the evening goes. <laughs> so, you and Will, huh? Yep. Me and Will. And, uh, me and you, huh? <laughs> yeah, me and you. And maybe later, me and Karen. I went to the doctor here, my x-ray. Happy? This is the x-ray of a cat. <laughs> Meow? She said the same thing to me when I caught her with a bird in her mouth. Doctor. That's why I always skip the middleman and go straight to pharmacist. Karen, you have to go. Life is hard sometimes. You, you, you can't just crumb your way through it. So tomorrow, Jack and I are going to take you to the doctor, and that's final. So listen, Jackie, Stan and I had this tropical getaway planned for next week, but seeing as how he's in the prison warding off French kisses from a 500-pound felon named Tiny, I got an extra ticket! <laughs> Jamaica! Look at that hot cabana boy. His sarong is so wrong. Oh, it's heaven, honey. They pick you up at the airport and whisk you away in a covered limo. You never once have to look at a local. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't go. What? Thursday is career day at Elliott School, and I only have a week to figure out what I do. I'm thinking Hugh Jackman's body double or secretary of state. <laughs> Everything. I mean, look at the stitching on this thing, huh? <laughs> you cannot trust a ten-year-old to do a good hidden button. Cute guys here, huh? Too bad they're all Moe's. <laughs> it doesn't really matter to me. I'm a lesbian. Oh, honey. We're all lesbians when the right guy isn't around. <laughs> Jackie, something shiny, but non-toxic, because you know it's just going to end up in his mouth. You don't buy things. It's a silent auction. Write down your bid, we'll announce the winners at the end of the night, and the money goes to help enact hate crime laws and 
Battle prejudice. <laughs> and they say lesbians aren't funny. <laughs> Here's an exciting item. Uh, gourmet chef comes to your house and prepares a romantic dinner for two. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear, coach. <laughs> just got out of a relationship, and I think it's a little early. <laughs> let, me, let me try to explain this in, in terms you'll understand. I'm Tequila. Oh, I'm liking this story better already. <laughs> These are my friends, gin, vodka, and scotch. Hello, Karen. <laughs> Hiya, kids. <laughs> now, you've got an emergency. Mm -hmm. You want a Bloody Mary, you've poured yourself a thimble of tomato juice. Who are you gonna call? Me? Tequila? Well, this is crazy talk. I want my vodka. <laughs> exactly. So from now on, you only call tequila when you have a legal problem. Okay, I get it now. You're coming in loud and queer. <laughs> hey, Will. Hey, Grace. Karen, this isn't Grace. This is a bag of garbage. <laughs> oh, silly me. <laughs> How can I make that mistake? Twice. Karen, wow, I love the blonde. It's very Mary J. Blige meets Barbara Eden meets My Little Pony. Rosie's pretending to be sick, so she's slacking off. She wouldn't even shampoo my hair in the shower this morning. <sighs> Luckily, my cook's teenage daughter was willing to sell me her hair. <laughs> oh, Will's boyfriend, you're a cop. I need you to get rid of these tickets for me. These are tickets to Harvey Firestein and Fiddler on the Roof. Yeah, but well, you can see why I'd want to get rid of them. Hop to it! Oh, oh no. No, no, I don't have an addiction. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm okay, fine, I'm fine, okay, I'm fine, okay, I'm fine, okay, I'm fine, okay, I'm fine. Okay, okay. It's over. Now listen to me. The first thing you have to do is admit that you have a problem. Because if you can't even recognize the signs, You are really in sorry shape. <laughs> oh, mm. why are you so good to me? The salad's done, the risotto is cooking. Let's talk wine. Karen, you have any preference? Honey, I'd suck the alcohol out of a deodorant stick, so you're asking the wrong gal. <laughs> Karen, are you saying you don't care about the wine? No, honey. I was just flirting with you. <laughs> Morning. Nothing suspicious. Nothing lesbian going on. Yeah, then why is your hand on the breast? Somebody's got to steer this thing. It'd be a hell of a lot easier if I had a bigger wheel to work with. Why don't you make me try this on? Quit yelling at me. I'm trying to get us unstuck. Well, just keep working on that zipper. And while you're down there, will you pull my underwear out of my ass? Hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, I always knew Grace was a little, but I never knew she was. Ee, 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 ee. My mother's crazy. That's why I had her committed. Well, she's not crazy so much as she just bugged me. She's a bitch. Right amount of soda. You brought liquor into a movie theater? That is so classy. <laughs> well, everything I do has a touch of class, Jackie. <laughs> you hit someone. Oh, he's okay though. But his wife is complaining to an usher. She's really steamed, which I guess is appropriate since she's dressed as a bright copper kettle. <laughs> to hit one of the six straight people here. They're so litigious. They're all like, oh, I got hit by a bottle. You hit a queer, they're like, did I just get hit by a bottle? Eh, all in a day. Oh. Hey, Grace. Hey, Leo. <laughs> Listen, you mind if I talk to your wife alone for a minute? You come to Long Island, you can talk to her anytime you like. <laughs> 
terrific. And that's a big compliment coming from me. I'm Asian. <laughs> ah, Smitty. Feeling a little down. A friend told me that she didn't think I would be a good mother. Well, uh, my own mother was shot dead in front of me by her boyfriend when I was 12. And, and I've been haunted ever since, wondering if I could have saved her. <laughs> I am telling you, you have got to start riding these <laughs> It's a hat, Karen. I didn't have time to dry my hair. So what... What are you saying, honey? It's gonna stay on all day? Uh-huh. Okay, you know what? I say we close. You're obviously in no condition to work. So. Stop. You have a very delightful chuckle. Oh, thank you. They're real, too. Lionel Banks. Lionel like the train, the banks like money, and you are? Anastasia Beaverhausen. <laughs> Anastasia like Russian royalty. Beaverhausen like where the beaver live. <laughs> Honey, what's this? <laughs> Honey, we talked about this blouse. <laughs> Walking me back to work. Whoa, got skirt. <laughs> Wait, what's that? It sounds like another boat. Oh my God, what happened to you guys? Well, Lorraine tried to kill me. She threw me overboard. Rosie jumped in after, and then this Russian freighter came by, pulled us out. We spent the night. It was horrible. 300 filthy sailors and a unisex bathroom. <laughs> this morning, we swiped their jet ski. That's Russian for jet ski. <laughs> oh, Karen, that's awful. 300 filthy sailors, you say? Could you point out the coordinates on this map? <laughs> Icy water. I stared death in the face, and let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Yeah, there it is again. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck! I saved your miserable life out there. I am sorry. You're right. If you hadn't turned your support hose into a life vest and used your bra as a sail. <laughs> I'll be here. Bye. Mm. You call me later? I will. Mm. <laughs> he should be killed. <laughs> He happens to be the sweetest, most thoughtful, most sensitive guy I have ever gone out with. I think he's great. He makes me want to barf. I want to kick him till he's dead, honey. <laughs> Karen, no, I have just gotten off of a string of really bad boyfriends. Adam, his closest thing to a compliment was, if you lost a little weight in the ass, you'd look pretty good. <laughs> Alex who thought things could be improved by bringing another woman into the relationship. <laughs> Stoner Jeff, who loved his bong more than me. <laughs> and Josh is the first guy in a long time who treats me like a goddess. Bye-bye, Josh. <laughs> he is sensitive and caring. Thank you for playing. <laughs> He truly loves and understands women. Don't let the door hit Grace's big ass on your way out. <laughs> okay, bitches, let's get this lady love-in started. <laughs> Who's up for 
first. Ooh, yum. A hottie grows in Brooklyn. <laughs> Karen, it's not that kind of girl's night. She's harmless, really. But just for fun, lock the door when you go to the bathroom. I can't believe I'm at a public pool. Why doesn't somebody just pee directly on me? Well, well, well. Nice of you to show. The race ended a half hour ago. Mason paged me because you weren't here. Mrs. Walker? Cheryl Bricker Fosberg, Taylor and Hayden's mom? I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> I just want you to know I think you're awful. Your son Mason swam his heart out today and all he wanted to do was share that joy with his family. But when he looked up in the bleachers for a familiar face, nothing, not even a housekeeper. I find that appalling. Oh yeah? Well, I find stretch pants appalling, but I'm too much of a lady to mention it, fat ass. <laughs> that the whole evening could have a theme, togetherness, you know? Jack and his father, you and Nathan, Karen and her drink. Thanks for coming. <laughs> How are you holding up, sweetie? Pretty good, pretty good. I, I think the last couple hours in the car really got me over at the hump. Good for you. Oh, thanks. Hey, bow tie. Bring me a cup of vodka and none of that tax-free swill. I want the good stuff. Uh, Ma'am, there is no alcohol. Sure there is. Uh, no, there isn't. This is a dry wedding at the groom's request. Uh, but there is a full coffee bar with a variety of coffee drinks and coffee-flavored treats. <laughs> Enjoy. Honey, we gotta bust out of here. Maybe I can get Stan to land the heli by the gazebo and airlift us to the doer's plant. Karen, we have to at least stay for the ceremony. The hell we do. I'm gonna kill Rosario the one morning she forgets to strap on my boot flask. <laughs> Would you take it easy? Don't tell me to take it easy. I'm looking at a room full of outlet clothing and fantastic Sam's haircuts. I can't breathe, I tell you, I can't breathe. Would you get a hold of yourself? No. Oh. Would either of you care for a cup of coffee? Yes. No. Oh. Get a grip on yourself. You get a grip on yourself. Oh. we're gonna get through this is if we support each other, all right? Maybe you're right. I guess we can get our mind off of things by touching each other inappropriately. Good idea. <laughs> oh, does Jacques have a new chef? What is this? It is an ego. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> would you mind if I put a little syrup on it? I would not. We are not that kind of establishment. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? No, not too much. New Year's, Martin Luther King Day, pick Stan up from the hospital. Oh, that's where he is. <laughs> and that brings us back to today. <gasps> Care, the black and white balls this weekend. Balls. <laughs> these formal affairs, honey. Everybody's gonna be there. Mr. and Mrs. Marlo Thomas, Mr. and Mrs. Connie Chung, Mr. and Mrs. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna have to pull out the big guns. Yeah. Bang, bang! <laughs> you're supposed to let me blow. Okay, 
Ryan, calm down, calm down. Uh, all right, let's try a little experiment we did during my first year at the Fashion Institute. Okay. One kiss and then back to work. No. Look at all of these. Stan has been so good to me, honey. Oh, and all of the sweet memories they bring back. <laughs> On my knees in Belize. <laughs> Iraq. <laughs> oh, oh. And then there was that time in Nantucket. <laughs> oh. Good times. Well, good jewels anyway. <laughs> oh, look, Kara, stands well. Do you have a will? Honey, why do I need a will? I'm gonna live forever. That is the deal, isn't it, Red? <laughs> Do you? Yeah? Well, maybe you'll like a little of this. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? Huh? Karen, huh? Karen, what are you doing? Are you, you're, are you flashing that woman? She started it. <laughs> She's nursing. <laughs> hmm. That explains the little bald man. <laughs> Karen. Back up, mate. Miss Karen. <laughs> nice outfit for a funeral. If that dress were any shorter, I could see your English muffin. <laughs> I wouldn't talk. If that dress were any lower, I could see your Yankee doodles. <laughs> Cricket? <laughs> Watching you on the monitors, and <laughs> you seem unhappy. Is there anything I can do to make your stay more comfortable? Well, you know how you're always walking around here drunk and popping pills and whatnot, <laughs> and following me into the shower and throwing hot coffee on me and climbing into bed with me, hysterically crying and making me spoon you until you fall asleep. <laughs> you gotta knock that off. <laughs> <laughs> you are cute as a button. <laughs> well, I got the results of my physical back and I'm scared to open them. Will you look for me? Are you afraid they're gonna find some blood in your alcohol? <laughs> If I'm okay, I promise I will dedicate the rest of my life to serving you. It says here you're fine. <laughs> Fall for it again, God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you punked the Almighty. <laughs> I just want you to start taking some calcium. Okay. Well, you know, when you reach a certain age, a woman of your, you know, when you're in your Rich people need calcium. I don't like it. Well, tough, you have to take it. Karen! Come on, just pretend it's one of your Mexican Tic Tacs. Calcium pusher? Trying to get me hooked on calcium so you and your calcium crazed friends could make me dance like a calcium monkey? Fine, I'll just take my stash back to the schoolyard and prey on kids with bad posture. Ah, uh, hey, Karen, what are you doing? Oh, just a sec. Problem with Stan? I can't believe him. Parading around town with that new British slut of his. Yet last week they had dinner at the mayor's mansion. Mm -hmm. Apparently 
Luckily, she spent the entire night sitting on his lap feeding him steaks. Here's a nice T-bone for you, love. Hope you save room for a bucket of potatoes. Oh, I regret the day I ever laid boobs on that man. Major D. M. A. M A. M A. Oh. Do you know what it is? Oh, uh, excuse me, waiter. I would like some tea. I tea. Wait a minute, Karen. Those almost sound like letters. <gasps> I'm sorry, hag number 12, you're gonna have to leave. No! <laughs> M-A-I-T. Hey, put your paws off of me! Who do you think you are? Oh. <laughs> M-A-I-T-R. Hey, a mouse! Hey. <laughs> M-A-I-T-R. G. <laughs> Would you keep her out of here? No, Jack, without my help, this could end in a catastrophe. <laughs> I don't want to scrub, scrub is a guy that can't get me out of dining room. <laughs> Fine, we'll take him out. <laughs> well, Grace, everything smells delicious. Whoops! You almost made it, chompers. You're as big as he is. <laughs> Tomorrow night, I have something very special planned for all of us. Yay! <laughs> Leo and I are having a dinner party. <laughs> Leo's ex-girlfriend is coming. Yay! <laughs> but I'm fine with it, so there's no drama. Uh. <laughs> really? His ex is coming? Yeah! Solve it! Grace, I thought we talked about the beret. <laughs> Patty Hearst couldn't even pull one off, and she had money and a gun. <laughs> oh, my God, what's going on? Now there's four of you! <laughs> um... Hi, I'm Jillian. It's nice to meet you. Are you a designer, too? What's going on? What's happening? Why is it talking to me? <laughs> Karen, this is... this is Jillian. Remember our intern from Cooper Union, first in her class? She's gonna be here for two weeks. Uh, not ringing a bell. Could you give me a hint? I don't need to give you a hint. She's standing right here. Hello? Okay, rule number one. Unless you're served in a frosted glass, never come within four feet of my lips. <laughs> oh, and am I drunk or did I just take a whole bottle of whipped cream and go like this? Uh, hello? I can totally play straight. in the world would believe you're straight. You're as gay as a clutch purse on Tony night. <laughs> I fell out of the gay tree, hitting every gay branch on the way down. <laughs> and you landed on a gay guy. <laughs> and you did him. Stop worrying. She's just a maid. Just a maid? It's like saying that Pradas are just shoes or 
Vodka is just a morning beverage. <laughs> Karen, please, the dramatics. Don't you understand how she... Okay. I am going to tell you something that I've never told anyone. Rosario is my mother. <laughs> she's not your mother. All right, she's not my mother. <laughs> but sweet nectar of the gods, nobody gets the Merlot out of my nylons like that little plantain. <laughs> She runs the entire house. She she alphabetizes my medicine cabinets. She knows the ins and outs. Karen. Of my... She's my friend. She is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, she is. Well, hey, I've got an idea. I'm going to the Barney sale with Rosario this weekend. Why don't you just come along? Well. I'll need a little money from the ATM. Denied. Denied. Approved. <laughs> hey, where's my best girl? Karen. Karen. <laughs> then to set Karen Walker. I know Mrs. Walker. I remember you. Stan and I met you at the Whitney opening. You were the bartender. <laughs> no, you just gave me your drink order. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for it. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. Oh, honey, will you pop a stamp on this and drop it in the mail for me? <laughs> You. <laughs> Jack, be patient. It could still happen. The next guy you see could turn out to be Mr. Wright. Well, well, well. <laughs> or maybe not. Why, Beverly List? Karen Walker. Just breaks my heart that you don't have a partner for the spotlight dance. However, will you lead it without a partner? <laughs> Such a pity a bottle of rum can't waltz. Actually, I do have a date. Yes, I was just on my way to meet him by the punch bowl. Or, as you would call it, the swimming hole. <laughs> oh, all right, it is me, but it's not what you think. Really? Because I think it's you in a maid's uniform whipping some old guy in a onesie. Am I wrong? <laughs> oh, come on. It's just a little fetish film. Oh, my God. How did this thing get into circulation? Oh, my God. This is the end of me. I don't think I can go on. Karen, what no, are you doing? Me, stop me. Karen, don't be ridiculous. There we go. Nice and cold. <laughs> Just one question. Is Dirty Little Pig Boy the other white meat? <laughs> Come on, spill it. Well, I was just out of college. I was broke. It's the oldest story in the world. Boy meets girl. Boy wants girl to do dominatrix film. Girl says naked. Boy says, yeah. Girl says, forget it. Boy says, OK. Then just wear this rubber dress and beat the old guy with a scrub brush. Girl says, how hard? <laughs> Maybe it's for the best. Then you and I can move on with our lives out in the open to love freely. Karen, we're not a couple. Aren't we? No. Well, all I know is when I woke up this morning, there was red hair on my pillow and lesbian porn in the VCR. I'm unveiling my lingerie line, and I promise I'd sign some bras. Oh, I signed my bra. 
Sign it. Well, you're not wearing a bra. Sign it! <laughs> what an honor, right next to Cheryl Crow. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. Wow. Oh, to be surrounded on your birthday by your closest friends. Well, would have been nice. <laughs> you kids. <laughs> but seriously, you people just mean the world to me. Rosie, you're more than just my maid. You're my friend. And little Gracie, you're more than just my friend. You're my maid. <laughs> and Will. Oh, boy. <laughs> I know. I know I've given you a lot of grief over the years. Abused you, called you names. <laughs> and Jackie. <laughs> I love you more than you love yourself. Ah, oh, Smitty, I'm having a little hubby trouble. How about cheering me up with one of your jokes? I'm afraid I'm not in much of a joking mood. You see, my wife died Christmas, and I just haven't been myself since. straight. I refuse to limit pleasure. I like to think of myself as pansexual. Oh my god, he's been humping my pants. <laughs> Officers, a problem? License and registration, please. Oh, sure. No problem. Need license and registration. <laughs> We're totally off a tool. We won't do it again. <laughs> You should have seen what she showed customs when they asked for her passport. <laughs> anyway, we're done here, right? Because I'm meeting my sister Jenny for lunch and I'm running late. Did you, did you just say sister? Yeah. I have lunch with Jen every Thursday. What's the big? Uh, maybe the fact that you have never mentioned that you have a sister? Mm, yeah, I think I have, Grace. <laughs> Boy, do I love Jen. <laughs> or I can't get through the day without Jen. <laughs> that Jen gave me such a headache last night. <laughs> Boy, couldn't have been more clear. Jeez. Next thing you know, you'll tell me you never heard me mention my brother-in-law, Johnny Walker. <laughs> We're up next, okay? So, so let me do the talking. Don't do anything disruptive. Give me the booze. Oh. <laughs> and the pills. And the pills. <laughs> and the pills. <laughs> and the whoopee cushion. Well, if you take my whoopee cushion, how am I supposed to do my inherit the wind gag? <laughs> Hi, Poodle. Who's your daddy? You are. <laughs> okay, come on, Rosario. Up, 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 up. I need you to whip up a batch of Cosmos. The Bronfmans came back from the party with us, and I don't like them when they're sober. <laughs> Why don't I just squeeze you like a sponge? There's enough alcohol in you to fill a hot tub. Okay. Up, 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 up. Karen, you can't work her that hard. She's been on her feet all day. Oh my God, I'm so Norma Ray. <laughs> Leave her alone. Well, well, look at you. Sticking up for your Mexican mama. Huh? You like that? <laughs> I told you, lady, I'm from El Salvador. <laughs> blah, blah. Shift it! Come on! Karen, she's not going. Excuse me? Mink trumps felt. <laughs> it's okay, Chacha. I don't mind. Lady, tonight you better sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Since 1972, but thank you. Listen to me. As Rosario's legally endowed husband, I am putting my foot down. 
You better start treating her with some respect or else. Jack, let me paint you a little picture of life here at Shea Walker. You may want to sit down for this. Nobody matters but me. Good night. <laughs>